Have you ever noticed how some leaders light up a room effortlessly? They just command attention while others, they seem to blend into the background. What if I told you the difference lies not in their charisma, but in how they communicate. This is not about the words you choose, but how, when, and why we choose them. And in this video here, I'm not coddling or confirming what you already believe. I'm here to challenge norms, shatter illusions, and to reveal the raw power of communication techniques that have propelled good leaders into greatness. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike on this channel. I help you become a more confident leader, and I do this with no nonsense sense, if that makes any sense. And I wanna thank today's video sponsor, Nextiva, but more on them in a second. You know, leadership, I'd say it can sometimes feel like navigating through thick fog. But there is one tool that can cut right through. Good old fashioned communication. It's what turns a whisper into a rally cry. It's what turns a simple idea into a movement. And it's not just big speeches or catchy slogans. It's much deeper than that. It's understanding the magic of a pause, the power of listening, and knowing that sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it that turns heads. So you get it. Communication. It's not just part of the job for a leader. It's pretty much the whole gig. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, Captain Obvious, thank you, but how do I actually get better at this? No problem. Let's dig into what really makes you as a leader stand out. First, active listening. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's way more than just hearing the words. It's about tuning into what's not being said and letting your team feel understood and appreciated. It's about catching those little inflections and pauses that say way more than any words could. But then there's clarity. This one really could be a game changer for you. Making sure that your team isn't just nodding along, but they, they're really getting what it is you're saying, which means there's no more puzzled looks or endless back and forth because your message was clear as mud. No, clarity is going to fix that. And then we need empathy. That's what ties all of this together. Getting where your team is coming from, sharing their triumphs and their challenges. That's what builds real trust and sparks that go the extra mile spirit. You mix these with a genuine, straight from the heart communication and what you've got isn't just leadership. It's a new way for you to connect, for you to inspire, and for you to drive your team forward. So you've got the hang of listening intently, keeping it crystal clear, and putting yourself in other shoes. Great, nice work. But let's be real. Talking it out isn't always a walk in the park. It's kind of like trying to find your way through a maze blindfolded. There are going to be some bumps and some wrong turns. And that's where being able to switch gears and listen to what your team's really saying comes into play. It's like tweaking the dials on a radio to get rid of that, that, that annoying static and finding that clear crystal sound where everyone is just jamming to the same tune. I don't know where I come up with this stuff. But... That's where you get the feedback. Regular, honest chats can turn those, ooh, that didn't go as I planned kind of moments into, ah, I've got this one. It's all about building this, this vibe, this relationship where everyone feels comfortable to speak their minds, knowing that they're actually going to be listened to. We're not trying to brush the tough stuff under the rug here. It's about gearing up with the right attitude and tools to face those challenges head on. Instead of seeing them as roadblocks, we can view them as chances to grow closer and to get on the same page. Integrating these communication skills isn't just transformative within your team, but it also can revolutionize the way you connect with your customers. With today's video sponsor, this transformation extends externally, ensuring every customer interaction is as seamless and personable as those within your team. Creating new phone numbers, engaging in unlimited calling and texting, and having an auto attendant at your fingertips means that each 
customer call, or text can be handled with the utmost clarity and empathy you've woven into your leadership style. It's not just about answering a call. It's about making each customer feel heard and to feel valued from the very first ring. Nextiva's AI-powered contact center brings all your customer conversations into one platform. This unified approach means you can track a customer's journey from the initial contact to resolution without missing a beat. Whether through the AI voice or an AI chatbot, your customers are engaged with attentiveness that mirrors a face-to-face -face conversation. Backed by efficiency and scalability with cutting edge technology. Gone are the days of fragmented customer service experiences. With Nextiva, you streamline your communication tools into one app, ensuring your team spends less time switching between platforms and more time providing quality service. This level of polished, cohesive customer communication positions your business alongside the best of the best, focusing your efforts on scaling and improving customer satisfaction. In the end, these deep connections and efficient processes aren't just good for business, they're invaluable for building lasting customer relationships. So use the link in the description below and you can get 50% off of your plan when you subscribe to Nextiva. So we've gotten the grip on how crucial it is to listen well, to keep things crystal clear and to genuinely understand where your team is coming from. We're also braced for those inevitable hiccups along the way. So what is next? It's really about making sure these communication skills stick around and flourish. Now, how do we do that? By weaving these skills into the fabric of our day-to-day -day lives until they become as natural as breathing. It means pausing to reflect on our chats at the end of the day, being eager to get feedback and always being on the lookout for ways to do things just a bit better next time. This process is a bit like spinning a loop, learning, trying, tweaking, and then going at it again. And here's the kicker. This is the tough thing that a lot of people have a hard time grasping. There's no goalpost. There's no, I've made it moment. It's about getting better bit by bit every single day. Now you go through the grind and you pick up these skills. This isn't just about trying something on for size. It's about making these skills part of your essence, woven into every bit of your leadership style. Picture this, it becomes should I say a second nature? You're not trying to listen closely, you just do. Clarity, that's just who you are and how you communicate. And empathy, well, that's just your middle name. I know. <laughs> what I mean to say, it's like breathing. You don't have to think about it, you just breathe, right? That's when the magic really starts to happen. You find yourself navigating these difficult or complex conversations with ease. You turn potential conflicts into opportunities for deeper understanding. And your team, they start to see it too. They respond differently, more openly, because they know they're genuinely being heard, respected, and valued. This transformation, this new way of leading for you, it begins to ripple out beyond just conversation. It influences your decision-making, your strategy, and the culture of your entire team. You're not just building skills. You're building trust. And with that trust comes a team that's more engaged, more motivated, and more aligned with your vision. Now, should you not feel trusted as a leader, you're going to want to watch this video because that's all we talk about. So get your coffee, and I'll see you there. Ciao.